All right, we're going to continue on with closing argument. It's now Mr. Long. You know, they want you to believe there's all these acts of penetration that are not shown in a photograph or in a video. They want you to believe that perhaps, perhaps there's some 29 other minutes of video they just weren't able to retrieve. And perhaps some of that video might have shown you acts of penetration that they have charged but for which they really don't have any proof. You know, she had a medical legal exam done. <coughs> she didn't have any incidents of trauma vaginally, didn't have any incidents of trauma anally, reported to the police that she didn't believe she'd even had sex, didn't think she had been assaulted, was her initial report, turned down the first MLE, now this in and of itself, you may say, well, you know, there's, there's a video. Okay, there is a video. But I told you in opening statement that you were going to have to differentiate as this case was tried the difference between what you see and what you're told and who told you. So the government's theory is, is that perhaps there's this other video that would have shown these other acts of penetration you don't see. Well, that, you know, again, you come back to your common sense. I mean... If someone's videoing what you're seeing, why did they draw the line at the other stuff? Well, they wouldn't have. You know, if, if, if the purpose of this is, is gratification of some nature, the stuff that the government's telling you they didn't video would have been substantially more gratifying than what they alleged, than what they did. Yeah. So, Mr. Vandenberg says squeeze that shit three times, and here, here he is facing five counts of aggravated rape, criminal responsibility for aggravated rape. In the first four counts, the primary actor takes the stand, mans up, and says, I did it. I don't remember it. I did it. If it was done, I was drunk. But it wasn't Mr. Vandenberg who made me do anything. Mr. Van I wasn't acting under any of his direction. I wasn't solicited by him. He didn't aid me. He didn't attempt to aid me. I asked him on cross, he most certainly did. I asked him those questions on cross examination. So, in that first four counts, I mean, you know, I don't, how, how's the government overcome that? If perhaps. How can they overcome that? Then in counts five and six, they've got banks. Y'all remember Banks? Banks is Mr. 14. 13 pictures introduced in this trial, 14 of them from Banks or Banks' phone. Mr. McKenzie owns up that he took some of them. Mr. 14 didn't testify. We don't know who was directed. But we know this. We know this from Mr. Beatty's testimony. This big meeting at Popeye's that, that the government wanted to tell you about, where they claimed there was some meeting to cover up or whatever, Mr. Vandenberg wasn't even there. He wasn't even at Popeye's. So you see, somebody in this case has got to delineate a difference, and there is a difference, between the head man and the odd man out. In count nine, we're charged with illegal photography. And that's what we did. We did that. He took photographs that he never should have taken. He exercised judgment that was deplorable. He at least had the sense in the aftermath to be upset by it. Judging from the photograph of him going through, being consoled by Dylan... Vanderwall. He went around and tried to get these pictures erased. You know, he at least had the sense to be upset about it. There are four words above the door at the United States Supreme Courthouse. Four words. Equal justice under law. That is the hope and aspiration of all of criminal jurisprudence. Equal justice under law. Lady Justice is blind. 
She doesn't see money. She doesn't see race. She doesn't see position. We should all be permitted and admitted to equal justice, the concept of equal justice. Now, there's a famous attorney down in Dixon named Mitch Dugan, fantastic trial lawyer, fantastic rapport with, lawyer, with uh, juries. And he likes to say in jury trials, I don't care what the law is, what they're doing to this boy ain't right. I'm not telling you that. I care what the law is, and they haven't met it. But I will tell you the second, what they're doing to this boy ain't right. He can be found guilty of illegal photography. That is what he did, return that verdict. He isn't any more responsible for the conduct of other actors than anybody else is. What he said that night wasn't sufficient to direct solicit, aid, or attempt to aid anybody. The comment he made regarding the bottle was stated after the commission of the offense if there was penetration at all. And the person that allegedly was directed, solicited, aided, or attempted to be aided, you haven't heard from. His name is Banks, and he wasn't here the government gets another opportunity to address you. This is our last chance. Equal justice under law. We need to do what's right. And you're the sole and exclusive judges of what is right. <laughs>